So here we are approaching the end of another year. As we start thinking about 2018, it's a good time to look back and reflect on the 12 months it's been. The big picture economic and market developments and how these trends might impact on our investment portfolios in the future. 2017 has been a good year overall for most investors. We saw improving levels of growth across most economies and relatively calm investment markets, despite continuing geopolitical uncertainty. Shares performed strongly in this environment as company earnings lifted on the back of a recovery in global manufacturing and global trade. Central banks have maintained supportive policy settings, although this is likely to unwind if underlying growth in the economy continues to improve from here. Stronger growth has also led to falling unemployment rates. Even though jobless rates in most countries are about the lowest in a generation, we haven't yet seen that translate to much of an improvement in salaries. It's been a bit puzzling actually, but we do expect to see wage growth come through in time and for this to gradually push inflation higher. The Australian economy continues to muddle through. Consumption and retail sales have been disappointing, and unless we see wage growth improve, this will likely limit the upside to growth in the economy. The arrival of Amazon may further affect an already beleaguered retail sector. While consumers should benefit from lower prices in time, the entry of this aggressive new competitor will have an impact on profits for the incumbent retailers, which could impact on employment. A slowdown in housing construction activity is expected, following the introduction of policies to limit the growth in investor borrowing. This slowdown will probably have a negative impact on GDP growth of around 0.2% over the next three years. But this is offset to an extent by a lift in public investment and the infrastructure programs of state governments, particularly in Victoria and New South Wales. There's also the prospect of tax cuts on the horizon, so the outlook's not all bad. The RBA has kept interest rates on hold at 1.5% to support the economy's transition and to assist the over-indebted household sector. While the next move is likely to be upwards, it won't happen for some time, and if the economy does start to slow, then we expect that the RBA would change course and cut rates again. So, what do we think the new year will hold for investment portfolios? Economic growth is expected to remain above average, and this will continue to support earnings and share prices. The pace of growth will probably slow a little compared to 2017 though. It's been a theme for some time now, but given this year's stronger growth trajectory, it's expected that central banks will pull back some of their stimulatory policy settings. While this is not expected to derail markets, it does present challenges for some assets given their elevated levels of valuation. Short-term outcomes are always hard to predict, but experience tells us that after a period of above average returns, we should expect future returns to be a bit lower. As always, it's a good idea to work with your financial planner to rebalance your portfolio and make sure it's aligned to your long-term goals. We wish you all a safe and happy festive season and we'll be back early next year with the next update.